Hi, I'm Brother John. Major U.S. medical societies have policies which oppose Catholic Church teaching on sexual morality. The definition was that pregnancy began upon fertilization of the ovum by the sperm. That's when life began and it was a completely separate and distinct person. But ACOG changed it in 1965 to define pregnancy as beginning upon implantation of the embryo in the uterus. And that occurs 10 days after fertilization by the sperm of the ovum. This redefinition by ACOG was made to promote the sale of hormonal contraceptives which can cause the death of the embryo prior to implantation. Then in 2014, ACOG, along with AAP, which is the American Academy of Pediatrics, began recommending LARCs for all adolescents. LARCs is L-A-R-C-S, and it stands for Long-Acting Reversible Contraception. LARCs are either hormonal rods which are implanted in the arm of the woman or adolescent, or a hormonal IUD which is implanted in her uterus. The LARCs release synthetic steroid hormones for three to 10 years. ACOG and AAP also recommend the purchase of emergency contraception or Plan B for all women and adolescents. ACOG states that these morning after pills are effective if taken up to five days after sex, but that they cause no harm to a developing embryo. However, since an ovum can only last one day after it's released from the ovary, and since sperm can last up to five days in favorable mucus waiting for the ovum to be released, it is pretty clear that the primary mechanism of action of plan B is to interfere with implantation and thus cause medical abortions. ACOG skirts this logic by its redefinition of uh, when pregnancy begins. They say that pregnancy begins 10 days after fertilization. Now, AAP recommends that pediatricians initiate contraception by first recommending LARCs. AAP has abandoned its former policy of recommending abstinence by teenagers. Now they simply recommend that adolescents have sex, quote, when they are ready, quote. The Catholic Church teaches that contraceptives are not in accord with God's plan for love, marriage, and sex. A small but significant percentage of Catholic and other Christian physicians do not prescribe contraceptives because they know they act as abortifacients.